tell me a little bit about the collection this year. Every collection does come from uh, my heart, but this one especially was, um, you know, I've been to I've been home to Nepal. I go once a year, and um, this has more reflection of where I'm from. You know, it was inspired by the rich landscape and the culture and um, of the Himalayas. Where that's where I'm from, Nepal, and especially this place called Mustang. It's it's a little um, it's it's between um, Nepal and, and Tibet. I wanted to be in a place where it was quiet, and um, when I got back, um, it just hit me, mm -hmm. like in a like how inspiring it was, how kind of changed me. And especially also, you know, this um, fall collection, like in Mark's our fifth year in the business. And um, so it was kind of like homecoming. If you look up close, it's this yarn embroidered cutest little chiffon. You dress some powerful women yes, too. It's interesting yes. that they, they yes. go for your clothing no, too. Yes. You see Michelle Obama oh, yes. or the Duchess of Cambridge come out. I mean, these aren't just famous women. These are some of the most closely followed. To see, you know, Duchess of Cambridge, the first lady, and Oprah Winfrey, and then all these amazing, powerful women wearing, uh, you know, one of our designs, one of my designs. It's like, it's shocking. It is. I mean, it still is. It's, um, you know, more than anything else, what it is is how I've always felt about women, right? And as I mentioned earlier, how I have always thought of what I want to create. You know, I want to create and celebrate intelligent women. You know, I, I've, you know, we live in this day and age where often frivolous um, things, you know, are celebrated and talked about so often on television or something like that, you know? And, you know, yes, it's fashion, it's clothes, it's fun, but at the same time, my hope was, you know, even by creating something beautiful, you know, I hope I attract women that I admire. You do, obviously, Fashion Week and you do high-end. We talked about Michelle Obama, and, but you, you've teamed with Target yes, as well. So yes. you also, um, why, why do that? You know, for me, at that time, it was uh, last year, and, you know, Target is uh, doing a collaboration with a giant, you know, um, like Target is, it's in fashion, it's like a rite of passage. You know, it's like, okay, they are betting on you because you, they think they... They see something in you. And for me personally, it was like, what is it to work like a, you know, a brand, like a company like um, Target and, and to understand how the machine works. This is a fabric that was developed based on that painting. Are you a hero when you go home? What's the reception? Uh, <laughs> what does your mother have to say about all of that? Well, you know, it's so funny. My mom has always been a tough one. Um, she was a single mother, you know, and then um, she was, um, She's such a force because she's not often, she's not non-reactive. Mm -hmm. She's very quiet. She's got this inner strength. And, but she also keeps me grounded. One thing that has been my mantra is, has always been, fame is the result of hard work and good PR. You know, that's what it is. And fame is, can't be the ultimate goal. It's a byproduct of your hard work. I've, I've, I've always said, from day one, when I launched my collection, I was like, you know, if I find five people who likes it, I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. The reason why you wake up is because they're, you're creating something. For me, that's not all I want to say is like, you know, this, I hope the sense of entitlement goes away and uh, there's a sense of like, you know, love for work.